This is Jamal Hassel from Bermuda. I want to know from you guys, do you think that battle rappers should sign, should sign deals? And the reason why I'm asking this, number one, to get your point of view, and number two, I'm going to give you my point of view on it, because I touched on this before. Battle rap is a platform, like it would take you from here to there. But then, to take yourself to the next level, you know, as a battle rapper, you're going to have to sign a racket. Not a 360 deal, but even if you go independent and tour, you know, put on albums. Because like I said, battle raps right here will take you there, but you still need another machine. And you don't necessarily have to go and sign a 360 deal like I just said. You could, you know, set up your own independent deal. Or it could be like how Batman signed this deal. Or how Masterpiece signed this deal. Because a lot more money is in the industry. So, but you got to be business minded as a whole. That's what, that's what my opinion of it is. You got to be business minded. Like, okay, where you want to go in your career? Because you ain't going to be just battle rapping for your whole career. You know, that's only going to take you so far. Like, even when you collect your battle rap money. What are you investing it in? Are you investing it in into your album or into your own, own little label or you know what business ventures are you doing outside of battle rap? Because I know a few battle rappers that've been in the battle game for years, but they haven't transitioned out of that. You know they ain't really touring the world. They ain't putting out albums, but they've been battling, 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 battling. So it's like. A lot of few battle, a lot of these battle rappers have got to elevate their minds. Yes, they come up to, you know, starting doing little uh, club settings, coming in clubs and performing. But that would only take you so far. you got to travel the globe and perform. You know, not just traveling the globe to battle, travel the globe to perform. Take yourself to the next level. And like, how many battle rappers do we know of that's been mainstream and came back to battle rap? But... How many battle rappers can you say that have had have mainstream success? And that's not to say that to have mainstream success, you're a good or a bad artist. But I am going to use it as a measuring stick. So you might say to yourself, how are you going to use it as a measuring stick? Because you just said it doesn't mean you're a bad or a good artist. What have you done outside of battle rap? I'm using it in that sense. Like, what have you done outside of battle rap to help take yourself to the next level? Being in the industry. And getting back to my question, how many battle rappers have been mainstream and had mainstream success? How many can, how many can you count to on one hand? How many battle rappers that you know has been in the battle game for over a decade but they still haven't elevated. And I'm trying to figure out why. Like, is it that, like, you feel battle rap's where you want to be? You don't want to switch over and start making some music, too. Because, like I said before, I spoke about, touched on this subject before. Reed Dallas, he ran industry. He signed. Eminem came from battle. He signed. Cass, that made hit records. He signed. You know, so what I'm saying is like people like that crossed over, especially Cassidy and Eminem. They had mainstream success. So somebody like Cassidy has elevated himself. It's took himself to the next level with his music and producing and doing tours and doing shows. You know, if you ask me, like, that's where I think is it. And it's good to be battling, but don't, just don't stay in battle. You know, put out albums, start putting out your singles, start getting your music out in their clubs, in their radio stations. You gotta start marketing yourself. You know, unless you wanna stay battling, 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 battling all your life. But my opinion, I think battle rappers should get a deal. Now, there are some that might not make the transition. And there's a few that, that are not gonna make the transition or feel as if, oh, look, I'm getting battle rap for the rest of my career. 
At least do something with your money. Invest your money. Because you ain't going to be battle rapping for the rest of your life. You want to invest your money where you got that cash flow coming in even after battle rap. So, and even when you're in the industry, like people got a buzz. Everybody has that, that, that state in the industry like where else they have a buzz. Like everybody has that turn. Young Jeezy had his buzz. 50 Cent had his buzz. You know, Kanye West had his buzz. Yeah, people like Soldier Boy came out, had his little brief buzz. Mike Jans, back then, you didn't know me. Now I'm hot, you all know. He came out, he had his buzz like you can't, you can't find these guys no more, right? So you got a lot of people that made, like, one-hit wonders, right? And you got still people that still getting in the game, like Master P. So multi-platinum albums, but it's still relevant, right? You got guys like D-Block, Jada kissing them guys, that's still relevant after years in the game. Still relevant. Eminem still relevant. You see what I'm saying? So it's time to elevate yourself and start thinking what you want to do, where you want to go with your career. And like I said, you don't have to get yourself jammed up in a 360 deal. You know, you could have an independent label, right? And whack a deal with the shipping and handling and distribution and promoting and all. You could you could work on all that. But at the same time, what you guys are not understanding, like a lot of attention's on you, like especially battle rappers you want to smack RB, Lush One, whichever one of them battle rap platforms you want, you're getting the attention, right? A lot of you, I'm even checked a few of you guys, like John John the Dunn, it's got a presence on Twitter. Hollow the Dunn's got a presence on Twitter. You got presence on Instagram. Gortz has got a presence on Instagram. A lot of you battle rappers have got a presence. So what you got to do is, is use their platforms to not only talk about your music but to 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 to, to build your brand take it to the next level you know because you guys have got like the way social media is now like you don't even need these big ass budgets to get your music out there you don't need a big ass budget when you got places like youtube you got places like instagram you got places like twitter to promote so it's all about the content you're putting out you see what I'm saying? That's what the world's about now. It's about content. So if you're willing to go out there and put out content, put out the content, which is your music, whatever way, promoting yourself and, and promoting your albums, even though a lot of albums are being downloaded now, so it's taken away from album sales, but at the same time, it's still opportunity for you to get in and put out an album. Despite the fact that a lot of people are downloading albums off of iTunes. Because it's different ways of collecting your revenue off of the industry. Okay? Like, and I keep on speaking about clothes. Because a lot of rappers have got clothing lines and all that. But I'm just saying, like, check out Master P, for instance. It's got movies. It's got clothes. It's in so many different investments. Comic books, I believe. And you got guys like, look at 50 Cent, got the vitamin water. So that, that's just a hypothetical example of like some of the things you guys could be doing to elevate yourself. So when you do get in the industry and things do, do go flat, you got income coming in. But at the same time, a lot of people say, oh, well, these guys can't rap to a beat. You guys have got to work on that rapping on beat. Because you guys are skillful. You're flawless. I like watching you guys a cappella on a stage when you're battling. You guys have got skill unbelievable. And a lot of you need to work on rapping on beat. That's actually right. But that, don't let that stop you from pursuing a career in the industry. Because like I said, a lot of you are highly skillful. I like watching you guys. No doubt. You're highly skillful. But get out there. Promote yourself. Promote yourself, find your niche. Okay? It's another thing like where artists go wrong. They think everybody's supposed to be liking the music. Like, you gotta focus on your niche. Not everybody likes gangster rap. Not everybody likes that singing rap. Some people like people that sing when they rap. Some people like lyrics. Lyrics, lyricists. I love lyricists. So, what I'm saying is, like, this is my advice to you guys it's about catering to your audience with content 
you got the content, your music, you're putting out your music, you're, you're touring, you're doing shows, you know, people's booking you, because you're putting yourself out there, elevate yourself to the next level, so a lot of you battle rappers, take it to the next level, and like I said, you got to learn the business side of things, because you don't want to get sucked in either. So long you learn the business side of things, because what happens in the industry a lot of times, guys get money up front. But when you get the money up front, it's prayers and coins to that. Yeah, you got a little bit of cash up front, but you don't earn your name, you're restricted on what you could do or not, and what you can do. Like Master P, when he signed this, his first deal, like he didn't restrict his name. I remember him saying, him and his brother, I think they went to Jimmy IV and had a little meeting. Jimmy IV went to give him a million dollars. So Master P said to himself, hey, look, if this man was to give me a million dollars, how much am I really worth? And his brother, Percy, right, he got so upset when they left, like he was kicking his brother, like, why you didn't take the million dollars? Why you didn't take the million dollars? P saw the big picture. He, P saw it like, if I take the million dollars now, I'm going to be so restricted. I can't use my own name. And I'm going to earn you for a little while. So you got to know the business side of things. So that's my advice to you battle rappers. Learn the business side of the industry too and go s and start doing tours. Not just performing in clubs. Start going to these little stadiums and these little, these little, um, I forget what they call them, man. These festivals and all that. Performing at festivals and all that, deal. And get your content out there. Because there's a lot of attention on you guys, especially being in battle rap. And that's what you need. So you got to take that attention and harness that attention and carry that momentum with you over to the industry. This is Jamal Hassel. I want you to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this. Give me some insight on how you feel about this topic. Do you think battle rappers should go out and sign deals? Because I do. Let me know what you guys think. I'm fired up. Bless you.